The Allegheny Journal has found two interesting characters today. We're hoping they'll help us understand what's going to happen with the Juneteenth celebration in Covington coming up this uh, Saturday. Renee Jones um, joins us and Diane Laws. Welcome, ladies. Well, thank, thank you. you. Diane, you have participated. You're one of the movers and shakers of this um, event each year. Uh, what what are the highlights? I think you told us it's going to start at 11 a.m. at Cheater Watson Park. Yes, it is. It's going to go from 11 until 4, I believe. Um, and uh, I think I remember seeing some place where the speakers were going to start at uh, 1 o'clock, I believe. Okay, and you... Correct. And you have some interesting speakers, as we understand it. Delithia Quarles, an out, you know, a track star at Allegheny, and now a celebrated coach, she will be speaking. And who are the other ones? Uh, Sean Hunter, who's a a local young man, he started some group with uh with some young men in Roanoke, and he's going to speak. And a doctor, Cynthia Carter, she's in uh, mental health and. I think she's going to talk about uh, the progression of mental health in the black community starting with 2006, I believe, until present day. Okay. And Renee, I think you've got a unique role this year. Are we going to hear some singing from uh, some of your uh, group, some of um, your people? The um, students and the attendees at the vacation bible school that's um where the local churches all get together they're um practicing a song to sing at the um juneteenth celebration you know the the progression of this event you know it started out you know it's very lively and all but i mean it just seems to be growing and growing each year and i mean from speakers to I, I just noticed you even had a couple politicians show up one year, didn't you? Yeah. Last year, Bob, I think it was the, the candidates for sheriff, I believe, that showed up last year. But I don't and then you had some, any... well, you nope. had a state senator one year, didn't you? A candidate uh, for state. Yeah, yeah. There was a, a young lady from Glasgow, Virginia, I believe, that was, yeah, yeah. To run, yeah. But, but let's talk about the most significant thing. How about, isn't there going to be some eating, good eating, some food there available as well? <laughs> no, yeah, there's going to be free food and drinks. Yeah. <laughs> that's the only reason that's, why you guys contacted me. <laughs> so Jerry about their, you know, stand in line three times. You, I mean, that was the, the neat thing about this is not only the energy and all, and uh, and and it's nice, Renee. I, I don't think anybody had a youth choir prior to this. I don't know, but that's a neat uh, new feature. Um, but just the energy that you've shown um, and and this celebration, I think, attracted a, a larger crowd. And at Jeter Watson Park, the nice thing about it is you can get out of the sun. There's a nice pavilion there, and I mean. What so there'll be food probably when does that start? Does it start when the event begins or does that happen after a certain amount of program? I think it's probably going to start when the event begins because I'm sure they'll be up there really, <laughs> really early on Saturday morning ready for this thing. And, and, and you know, with this, it seems to me last year, Am, am I exaggerating? Were, were there a hundred people up there last year? I mean, it, it just seems to me there were. There were probably more than that. Uh, you know, coming and going throughout the day, yeah. It seemed to me Mustard Deering was there or, or yeah. another significant uh, personage who was getting, will somebody be giving a, a history of Juneteenth? Yes, sir. That would fall on my shoulders. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> I thought, and, and could you, without making this too long, could could you just really briefly, you know, not everybody knows what this holiday is about. Could you just briefly, so, you know, boom, 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 so everybody understands, you know, it's not, this is 
not just a, hey, let's just eat thing. There is a significant background for this entire celebration. Yeah, in June uh, 19th of 1865, a Union soldier uh, by the name of General Granger uh, and his troops rode into Galveston, Texas, and they informed uh, the slaves there that by executive order number three, uh, that they were were free. Now, this was two and a half years after the Emancipation Proclamation was signed. Uh, wow. And uh, there were actually 250,000 slaves in Texas at this time. Uh, and uh, so from there, you know, this thing sort of escalated into a, a celebration, first being celebrated in Texas and then a uh, little by little spreading to to other states. Uh, so 200, 250,000 human beings probably weren't aware of of the Emancipation Proclamation. And, of course, that was just Texas. Yeah, that was just Texas. Uh, yeah. and, and, you know, the, the thing I, I like to <laughs> tell everybody is that the Emancipation Proclamation really didn't free the slaves. Didn't And, you know, because... These people um, were part of the Confederacy. And I want to tell you something that I learned from this is that I did not really realize that Texas was actually a part of the Confederacy because you never heard anything about Texas. Yeah. Uh, being away, part yeah. of the Confederacy. Um, but uh, it, uh, in. Uh, Virginia recognized uh, it as a state holiday, uh, Governor Northam, in 2020, and then um, President Biden in 2021 actually made it a federal holiday. Well, you guys are doing great work. And, you know, to sum it up, it's Jeter Watson Park this Saturday, June 15th beginning at 11 a.m. And believe me, from what I've seen of the program, uh, the journal wanted, wants to give it some coverage. Then again, I also want to stand in line because I know you got some cooks <laughs> on the side. And well, and it's important that you got, you know, there's such energy at this event. Uh, I think Clifton Forge will have something similar. Uh, we haven't been contacted by the people who are organizing that one. But uh, we certainly uh, appreciate uh, all of the, you know, the work you guys have done there and look forward to a great celebration again this year. Thanks very much for speaking with us. Well, thank you for having us. Yes, ma'am. And right. I, I would like to add, um, Reverend, do. Yeah, um, Reverend Freeman is um, getting this the Vacation Bible School music together. And also he has put together a men's choir that will be performing at the um, Juneteenth celebration. So I'm excited to hear them sing. We, we very much appreciate you keeping us informed and look forward to seeing you once again. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye now. Bye. Bye.